Okay, so Duffner there, we talked about him being influenced by the five-time champion at Colonial, Ben Hogan. The fundamentals are grip, stance posture, first part of the swing, second part of the swing, and then he has a summary and review, which in my opinion is probably part, the best part of the book. It, it throws everything together. So these are all pressure points in your hands, uh, up here in the grip, in the heel pad, in his finger. These are all pressure points. This is what really holds on to the club. You see a lot of guys on tour, when they get that grip in there, you know, they got these fingers off and they're gripping in here. So this right here is a pressure point. These fingers back here into the heel pad is a pressure point. That's what really stabilizes your grip. Uh, early in his career, before this book was written, um, he struggled with the ball going left. Some of that was equipment based. Uh, some of it was his grip, some of it was his delivery. Stance and posture, talks about the feet at shoulder width apart, which I think is pretty basic. He likes to have his left foot flared out, which I like to do. That gives me a feeling of being able to rotate into the golf ball. He also likes to have his trail leg um, a little bit, I guess it would be, behind him. Upper body posture, he likes to have his arms really tight to his side. Kind of rotate his arms, feel like they rotate this way. Um, that provides a lot of structure. And I also felt like it made him feel like he was really connected with his torso. And he starts talking about the first part of the golf swing. So here he's talking about the waggle, right? Why he waggles. He's trying to mimic what he wants his right wrist to do at impact. And what that does is that leans the shaft. So I think he was trying to feel that in that waggle trying to give his mind and his body some direction. But in his backswing, you can see he is just using his torso to move this club. And what that is doing effectively is it's keeping the shaft and the club on the plane to start the golf swing. He's done nothing with his hands or his arms. He's just turned his torso like he's going to greet somebody behind. And then, when he got past the uh, club parallel to the ground, you can see him really winding everything in these illustrations. So the hips start turning more, the shoulders get to 90, the hips get to about 45. And he hasn't really moved off the golf ball as well. So, and he was really staying centered on that golf ball. Uh, second part of the golf swing, a lot of downswing things in here. Um, he talks about, you know, the window pane is very classic, uh, Ben Hogan. Keith wanted to stay underneath that glass. You never want to go over the top. You see a lot of amateurs nowadays, they might start under and then they work their way over and bust the glass. He really stayed underneath that glass. Um, and there's a lot in here about talking how the hips start the golf swing, the down swing. So he's here at the top and this was a feel for him. He felt like the hips started rotating. Then the arms started coming. And then obviously, the shaft and the club head are locked to hit the golf ball. That was his feel, that was his sequencing. You hear a lot in modern golf swing about ground force, right? Guys using the ground, pushing off the ground. To me, that was his ground force, right? He's starting to rotate and he's pushing in, pushing into the ground, pushing into the ground, and then all of a sudden popping up. He had a lot of secrets, did a lot of good things well. But I think the one thing you can take from Ben Hogan, golf swing, is he, showed and tried to express to people to have shackling and not be steep and that was with a lot of body rotation. If you can put in chest rotation and lean the shaft and that was his kind of secret to me. Let's say you only have 10 minutes right on the day. You can rip through this summary and review and you can see all these great things that he just talked about in this whole book. I don't want to say anybody swings like Hogan out here but you see a lot of guys that use principles whether it's in how they address the golf ball, their grip, how they deliver the club head, all these things. So it's stood the test of time. I think it's a good basis. I live and die by everything in this book. So. But do I use some of them? Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Jason, for unlocking some of the secrets, the mystique of Ben Hogan and how he was able to play this game so successfully. To go to Jason Duffner and second shot here, just laying up at the first, Steve. Trying to position it down there for a solid wedge. One of the craziest things about that book 
The grip's so important. 19 pages alone on the grip in that book. 